Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explain in details on terminology of screw threads that will be having a wide applications in the field of engineering. So let us start with the introductory part of this theory. So basically, in case of the screw thread, which is helical ridge and produced by forming a continuous helical groove of uniform sections on the external or internal surface of the cylinder or a cone. So basically application of the threads, it will be having internal threads or it will be external threads. So that will be depends upon my applications. So a screw thread forms on a cylinder is known as a straight or parallel screw threads while one formed on a cone is known as a tapered threads. After this, just you can see the different types of threads. So here, basically, it will be two types of threads, external threads and internal threads. So basically, onto the screw thread, it will be the external threads and onto the nut, it will be having an internal threads. So it will be having a different terminologies. So that we will discuss in details in the video. So how you can define this external thread? So basically the thread from outside of the workpiece is known as a external threads. So as we discuss, it will be onto the screw or you can say bolt or studs. So onto the bolt and studs, you will find external threads and both these are used as a fasteners or joining of the two components into assembly. Second one that will be internal threads. So this is my internal threads. So in the case of the internal threads, basically it will be formed inside of the workpiece is known internal threads and basically it will be found onto the nut or you can say female screw gear. So both the having its own applications and you can combine this external thread and internal threads and that will be used to join as a fasteners into the machines. After this, the different kind of uses of the threads. So let us see the terminologies. So basically the application of the threads that already discussing to hold the parts together act as a fasteners and basically in the case of the fasteners we are using the V type threads. So basically the number of types of threads are available. So V threads are there, square threads are there, Acme threads are there, then Withward threads are there, matrix threads are there and so many more. So according to my different applications I would like to use the different form of the threads. So for V threads, it will be used into the fasteners and if you want to use the threads applications as a motion transfer or a power transmission device, so you can use either the square thread or Acme threads. So that will be depends upon my requirement of the applications. After this, just you can see the different terminologies of the threads. So basically the major diameter just you can see the outer side to the outer side. Second one pitch diameter. So basically the actual rolling actions it will be taken place between male and female or you can say external thread and internal thread over here. So you can say that one kind of imaginary line where which the actual rolling actions it will be performing for nut and bolt. So this is my pitch line. After this the important things pitch. So that will be the axial distance between one thread to consecutive threads. So it will be starting from here to here that will be my pitch of the threads. Then second one flank of the threads. So basically these slopes onto the external threads that will be known as a flank where this flank it will be in contact with the external and internals and just you can see this is the 
thread angles so depends upon my different form of the threads it will be having a different angle in case of the metric thread so it will be having a 60 in case of the Witwer thread so it will be having a 55 degree angle so depends upon my different form of the threads it will be manufactured over here then crest so outer distance to outer distance so that will be these shapes it will be known as a crest and similarly for the inside view it will be the root or you can say minimum diameter it will be starting so crest means you can say it will be the last point of the major diameter and for the root it will be the end point of your my minor diameters then addendum and dedendum so addendum means the distance outer side from the pitch line it will be known as an addendum and it will be undersize that will be known as a dedendum or you can say the difference from the pitch line to upward and downward directions so pitch line to crest side it will be known as a addendum and pitch line to this root it will be known as a dedendum so that we all discussing later on in my video after this the terminology so this is the figure that we discuss now we will see in details so what do you mean by pitch so i already told you the axial distance from one thread to another so this much amount of distance that will be known as a pitch so as per the definitions the distance from a point on a screw thread to the corresponding point onto the next thread or you can say onto your consecutive threads that parallel to the axis so this is my axis of the thread and this distance always it will be parallel to the axis of the thread so this distance or you can say it will be the axial distance so this is my important terminology it will be used into the any kind of threads after this lead so the distance a screw thread advance into the one turn or you can say in simple language if you rotate the one turn of this screw that will be travel the advance motion as equal to the pitch distance so in case of the single started thread this lead is always equal to pitch so you can say that such kind of threads it will be my single started threads if you rotate the single rotation of this external thread and this my screw it will be advanced two times of this pitch so it will be my double started so just you can see for double started lead distance that always equal to twice into pitch distance and so on so if you make the one rotations and it will be advancing into three times so three times into pitch so that will be also depends upon my applications so you should maintaining the relation of pitch and lead so how you can justify single started thread having a lead is is equal to pitch and for double started lead that is equal to twice of the pitch and so on it will be look like this now thread forms that is also important part so the cross sections of the thread cut by a plane containing that axis so that will be the form major diameter so this one so basically this is the diameter and imaginary cylinder or you can say coaxial with the screw which just touches the crest of the external threads or roots of an internal threads in case of the internal threads that will be reverse but it is also called as a nominal diameter so this is my external thread so for the major diameter it will be the distance from crest to crest because this is the only one side just you can take the other side of the thread also so crest to crest distance that will be my major diameter but if you are talking about internal threads so that will be root to root distance later on we will also see for that after this just you can see another terminologies so this is my figure minor diameter 
so this is my minor diameter so for in case of the external thread that will be root to root distance so from this point to another side of the threads so this is the diameter of an imaginary cylinder coaxial with the screw which just touches the root of an external thread or in case of the internal threads that will be crest so this is also referred to a root or core diameter so this is also important terminology in terms of the thread manufacturing now important things effective diameters or you can say pitch diameter so this is my pitch line and according to that diameter it will be my pitch diameter so it is the diameter of an imaginary cylinder coaxial with the axis of the thread and intersect the flanks of the thread such that width of the threads and width of the space between threads are equal so just you can see this is the in between point onto the flank of the threads so at your outer side it will be the same distance and it will be inner side it will be the same distance so just you can see it will be the mid point of your addendum and dedendum so addendum and dedendum that will be also depends upon the pitch line so it will be having a equally spaced that is important part then flank so this is my flank so it is the thread surface that connect the crest with the root so this is my crest and this is my root so that will be connected by the flank after that depth of the thread it is the distance between crest and root measure perpendicular to the axis of the screw so this is my axis of the screw and this is my crest and this is my root so this distance crest to root and that will be perpendicular to the axis of the thread this one so from this point to this point this distance it will be known as a depth of threads after this as you can see angle of the threads that we already discussing this is so that will be depends upon my different forms of the threads or you can say the included angle between the side of the threads measured into the axial plane after this hallux angle so angle that the thread makes with the plane perpendicular to the axis that will be my hallux angle onto the threads flank angle it is half the included angle of the threads addendum that we already discussing it is the distance between the crest and the pitch line measure perpendicular to the axis of the screw so this is my perpendicular directions and from crest to the pitch line distance and for the addendum that we also discuss that is the distance between the pitch line and the root measured perpendicular to the axis of the screw so if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching